Hello Collective, welcome to the platform. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get in here. Okay, so real quickly, um, there is a gentleman that is coming towards a feminine energy and this person is coming towards you to make some type of attunement bring some type of attunement into a situation this could be someone you may have worked with in the past um and they may have seen you as a page of cups so maybe during this time when you met this masculine you were still in progress or in transition of either becoming an emperor or an empress energy. Someone was financially stable when you met them. Um, and they were in their king of source energy towards you. Okay. Uh, so this was the energy you were in. This is the energy he was in. Uh, he may have been very successful in business or something like that. Um, and you may have maybe saw him as a possible business partner or someone that you may have wanted to work with or take some type of new pathway because, yeah, you wanted to come. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> I love this. You wanted to take some type of new path with someone in business. It was in love. Uh, I know we have the twin flame out here, the two of cups, but I think you saw someone as an option for creating some type of uh, business with, um, but someone may have rejected you because you were in like a pitch of swords, pitch of cups energy. So they rejected you, right? Uh, what someone did not know is that you were very skilled. So they left you out in the cold and put an end to some type of possibility of you and them working together. And I don't think you like came out and said, Hey, I want to work with you. I think you were probably just trying to show someone that, Hey, like I'm multifaceted or I'm very creative or, you know, I'm very business savvy. Like instead of telling someone what you were, I think you showed someone who you were. And someone kind of got a big head and decided to reject you or something. But there's something going on with this person's situation business-wise. Whereas they may have been in like an eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles energy before. Something has happened to this masculine's finances where it's like depleted. He may be now in like a five of pentacles energy and he wants to come towards you now to make you some type of offer. It's a, it's a rejection. You're, you're, it's a disappointment. You won't be working with this person because this is why I always say when people have money, their true character comes out. When people have money, resources and connections, this is when you see their true character. Money does not make money is not evil like people say it is. What you do with the money is what matters. Who has the money, how they use it, what they do with it, how they behave is what matters, not the money. Okay, money is just paper. We we are the ones that add value to it, right? So money is not evil, it's the person that has the money. Okay? Money is not the root of evil of all evil, it's people that are the root of all evil. So now this person is in some type of five of pentacles energy, maybe experiencing a lot of laws, maybe may, may even be in like a five of cups energy, trying to cut his laws with some type of collaboration or contract he may have gotten into and now wants to come towards you because he knows what well, you are extremely gifted, very business savvy on your way to being very successful because you are showing up here in an eight of pentacles energy, meaning that you are on your way to success. So now it's like the universe. I'm telling you, you are on your way to success. I just saw the four of wands. Okay. Wherever it is, yeah, you're multifaceted, a thinker. You're like a thinking machine. There's always something coming up. Um, 
may have to cut his loss with whatever contract he got himself into. It may be an institution that he's working with. It looks like he's trying to leave this institution and put an end to something because he's disappointed on how things went. This could also be someone that may have given an offer to someone else. And now that that did not work out, they want to come back towards you. It's like the table, the universe has flipped the table on someone. And this is why I always say it's really important to see things from a different perspective or a higher perspective. Try to see things from another person's point of view. Because, you know, sometimes we have money, we have this, we have that, and we start thinking we're better than everybody else. You see someone in a young energy or something and you say they don't have anything to offer you. T nothing is permanent in life. Things can always change. The person you the person you reject today can be the person you need tomorrow because you don't know that they're the ones that can heal you and help you with your dreams, right? And give you some type of new beginning so that you can have wish fulfillment in life and put an end to stagnations. I'm telling you, help you to stop self-sabotaging and things like that. You met a narcissist, whoever you are, divine masculine, divine feminine. Whoever this person was that was business savvy, you met a narcissist in a sense. This is some sense. This is someone that's uh a little bit, not a little bit, someone is very malicious, okay? You met someone and then they found out that you are someone who is very abundant, not just spiritually, but it's like everything you touch turns to gold. And now they're realizing that. Instead of when they realized it, instead of them being a man about it or a woman about it, because this could be a woman I'm talking to, instead of them, you know, manning up, womaning up, whatever we want to call it, and coming to you, they went all out crazy. Like someone has been trying to dismantle you without you knowing so that they can come into your energy and try to force some type of collaboration with you. And I've seen the high priestess here quite a lot, which means that you are someone that already knows what this person is doing. And they themselves, they know that you are aware of what they've been doing. So the, there go, I split the deck and it went right on the high priestess. So you are absolutely a high priestess. So they know the possibilities of you accepting some type of offer from them, wanting to work with them is slim to none because they've already shown you who they are. Okay. You know, like you meet some people in life because they have a little bit of money in their pocket. They turn their nose up at other people or hold their noses at other people because they feel like they're better than you. They're on some type of high pedestal that they've put themselves on and things like that. And this is why it's very imperative to be humble because what? You never know who can help you. And now it's coming to show that this person is like someone that didn't know who they were offending. Okay. It's that they didn't know who they were offending. Uh, so this is that you meet someone, you know, like how sometimes those bosses go undercover and you don't know who it is that owns this enterprise, this corporation that you're working for. You've never met them before and they come around and you don't know that you're talking to the owner of the company and here you are being disrespectful to them. Or you don't know that someone knows of you and they have some type of opportunity for you or they can be very influential in your life. They can help you make a lot of money. Different options, different possibilities, different situations, right? But you end up being really rude to this person and the whole time you don't know this is the person that can make a change in your life in whatever way, shape, or form, okay? Someone's out here, they like to seek approval is what I'm hearing, okay? They like to seek, they like validation. They, they want people to know that they have this, they have that, they are this person, they know this person, they do this and very superficial. But when they met you, they didn't know, they didn't know about some type of gifts you had some type of ability you have. And if you're showing up with the, as the high priestess in the moon, honey, you are a bad mama jamma out here. Like you are skill, skill. And there's some type of skill that you have, whether this is your intuition, whether you are clear, clear, you have all the clairs, your gift may be a little terrifying because you have ascended. You're a master now of your craft. There is something that's really terrifying because you are very, very gifted and someone who have been watching you all along, trying to get people to work with him, 
or her to trap you, bond you or something, something like that. Like someone has invaded your life in all different ways in order to come in and force some type of contract with you. It's not going to happen. Someone now sees you as wish fulfillment. It's a whole lot going on. Okay. It's like now someone is sitting back and thinking, I had this person right in front of me the whole time. I've missed out on my abundance. I've missed out on my 10 of pentacles. I've missed out on this. I've missed out on that. Right. And they're disappointed in themselves and they have no one but themselves to blame. Um, like someone, I don't, I don't know what this is. Someone's mind has gone from being like, in a kink of source energy towards you. It's like they go back and forth to now being like a kink of, yeah, honey, kink of source, kink of cups. Like someone is going through some type of personality change. I don't know if they have some type of personality disorder. Um, but now he's seeing you with from the eyes of a kink of cups, right? Uh, and I don't know if this is genuine or this is just someone that's going through some type of change, but be mindful. I don't think that you and this person have a contract together anymore um yeah you don't it's gonna be a dis disappointing one that someone just sees you as a cash cash cushion whatever this is like they see you as a queen of pentacles now as far as i can be successful with this person i can build a lot of businesses with this person after they've lost everything after rejecting you and this is how the, yeah, and you're having a fresh start somewhere else. You and this person don't have a calling together anymore. And this is how it always go. You have people around you, like these people that have money, they'll meet people that are not as, you know, established as they are. And they'll reject you, look down on you, hold your nose up at you. That hmm, I smell S-H-I-T, meaning they're talking about you. You're not of their caliber. So you shouldn't be around them. They don't want to work with you. They don't want to talk to you if they have to. And the whole time they're talking to you, they want to get away from you. Okay. So they may be trying to communicate with you now, or maybe trying to apologize or something to you, trying to find some type of way to get into your energy. It's that you already know what this person is going through because you're on Empress energy and a high priestess energy. You already know intuitively what this person is going through. So they've been want to come towards you to apologize, but they are afraid that you're going to have your sword pulled out at them. And I don't think it is necessarily that you have any type of animosity towards someone i think it's just that you've seen someone for who they are it's kind of like someone's mask someone not knowing that you can see beyond the veil so the veil of illusion is not something that the high priestesses cannot see through like we see we see what's on the other side that veil is for people that are not awakened or people that are still living in the dark and things like that. But as far as the high, high priestess, that veil might as well not be there. Especially when it comes to seeing through people. Seeing what people are really about. Knowing what people's true, in, true intentions are. That veil is not there for us. Okay? So you've seen someone, I'm telling you, he's worried that you're going to have your sword pulled out at him. And he doesn't have anyone to blame. Someone was trying to flex their muscles out here. I saw a man that's well built. And I didn't see, like, I saw him getting ready or something to go somewhere. I didn't see, like, his face. I just saw the back of him. Someone is very well built, very tall, uh, muscular looking and things like that. And he was getting ready to go somewhere. Um, so I don't know where, yeah, he's going somewhere. He may be coming into your energy, trying to manifest with you, give you some type of offer in business. And he wants to have some type of success with you. going to have to tell you the truth about how, what he may have betrayed you and went out of his way to cause you endings for a conflict in your life and try to deter your strength, deter your, uh, uh, image and things like that, slander your image and get people to not see you in this light. Um, so he may be like, like someone is hesitant, someone may be even afraid because it's like now you have the power in your hand to hands to make a change in this person's life. But it's like, how does he even approach you uh, to make make this proposal to you because he feels that you're going to be this way 
um, when you two meet or something like that. This could be a king of, king of wands energy now. Like this man is going through a lot of emotions behind the scenes. And this is why he will be coming out as a king of swords, king of cups, king of wands. May even come out as a king of pentacles. But uh, there's something about his stability that's not going the way it used to when you knew him or when you were around him before. And this could be a man as well, a woman as well, excuse me. Um, he may have given an offer. Maybe he's disappointed that he gave an offer to a queen of wands and now something has backfired. It's like someone is not skilled. Whoever this queen of wands is that he may have given an offer to. Yeah, he gave an offer to this woman and he's disappointed because it was a horrible return on investment. And he's praying that you will give him some type of answer or some type of assistance Right. I'm telling you, he's hoping that you are going to give him some type of assistance, some type of offer, some type of information that he needs so that he can get back into his King of Pentacles energy. It's something like that. So, oh, Lord. The, 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 the universe has a way of humbling us. The universe has a way of humbling us. Okay. There he goes showing up in his King of Cups energy. I'm telling you. Someone, someone has a lot going on behind the scenes. He may even be in a kink of a knight of wands energy. Like someone is out here losing their mind. So it's not necessarily that even you, it's not that you're wealthy. I, I, it's just that you are someone that could be very creative, someone very business savvy, very nurturing, very kind, spiritually abundant. And your abundance is manifesting in the physical now. Yeah, it's manifesting in the physical. It's something that is not becoming physical. And this man may be seeing that and watching you from behind the scenes and has been taking actions to temper with your work. Um, but you are committed to your dreams and things like that. You're committed, okay? Whatever he's been trying to take from you, it is protected. He, he was trying to take something from you to keep it so that he could have some type of leverage over you. And this man was collaborating. He wanted to come in to give you some type of contract. You don't need a contract from this person, okay? And this is something your ancestors are illuminating to you. You don't need a contract from this person. The ancestors will elevate you when you're supposed to, okay? Be elevated. They will put you in the position that you need to be placed in, but it's not with this man that's coming towards you. He may be putting an end to his work, nine to five. He feels way down, trying to push through. Someone may be going through some type of healing, trying to kind of push through to make his way to you so that he can make some type of, uh, have some type of reconciliation with you, healing and things like that. And he's coming in quick. Um, but when you and this person meet, you two may have some type of, clarity that comes out about a situation there is going to be some type of communication about him causing illusions and things like that to a community that's having some type of epiphany epiphany about why this man took some type of action right to pay people to cause you hindrances pay people to block you stop you destroy you and things like that right so you will be receiving communications um or maybe someone is receiving some type of communication about you or someone knows the truth about why someone was doing something, but you will receive clarity about this situation. You will have some type of new beginning. It's not going to be with this person again. It's going to be with someone else. You have a brand new start somewhere else um, with another partner, but someone may want to reach out to you as far as this masculine that I'm seeing to have some type of reconciliation with you because you have some type of information that he needs or you have some type of uh formula he thinks that you that he needs or you you have something this man needs um and this is someone that's an opportunist is what i'm hearing someone is an opportunist so you partnering up with them is not going to be something that's not that's like an equal give and take he's going to be getting more out of it than you are going to be getting out of it basically Okay, and someone, I don't know what this is, but he's in some type of an, an anxious state to come towards you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he left you out in the cold before or rejected you, said you, you didn't bring nothing to the table. He will, he's still to lose a lot uh, partnering up with you, but the whole time 
this was you and he didn't know it. You see how the universe works? This is why I say always be careful how you treat the people you come across because you never know who you're interacting with. We're not, I'm telling you, when this man met you, you were in a page of cups energy. You were in a page of cups energy and he rejected you. He said, mm, young, naive and stupid, something like that. So he breadcrumbed you. He breadcrumbed you. And now he needs you, but you're like, mm, but you have your back turned to him and whoever he's been working with to destroy your life. And you're just that, mm. and now he's, I don't know if he's, he's dreaming about you or sees you as wish fulfillment, whatever this is. It's a lot of masculines that may have their eyes on you as well. Like just there, thread with caution, thread with caution. Whoever you're supposed to work with, the universe will reveal it to you. Okay. They will reveal it to you. Mm. You may have a king of wands in the background, the king of cups, king of swords. And then you have this man that rejected you taking on all of those, those energies to ensure some type of victory after he takes action to come towards you. And he wants to take action, but there's something where it's like he does not want to because he knows that he effed up really bad, really, really bad. Dang. It is why it's important not to let money get to your head. People get a little bit of money and then they start thinking, mm, I don't hang with those. We don't hang with those kind of people anymore. Uh, I can't believe they they look like that. They sound like that. Yeah, he's going to have to move on because you're, you're being given a new uh, offer. And this is in business. If you and a partner are up with this man, it's going to come back to bite you in your behind. It'll bite you in your behind. I'm t oh, my gosh. Someone didn't know who the, oh my gosh. Someone didn't know who they were. I heard disrespecting, rejecting. Oh my gosh. Someone didn't know who they were rejecting or disrespecting. Someone may have spoken very ill of you to other people. Um, he saw you before as someone that had nothing to offer, like you were, he saw you like as like a peasant, young, naive, poor, irrelevant. You came with nothing but the black. You had nothing to offer. He thought if he partnered up with you, it would have led to some type of ending for him. So he rejected you. Now he's seeing the truth about you. Now he's seeing you as wish fulfillment in business. I see it. I know I see the King of Cups out here, but I think it more so has to do with the dreams his aspirations and things like that now that he knows he can fulfill with you. So he's seeing you as wish fulfillment in business and things like that. He's having some type of epiphany, epiphany about you, right? Now that he's having that epiphany, a lot of emotions, disappointment, turmoils, and things like that, because you don't want to offer from this person. You have an ace of pentacles offer coming towards you from someone else. Dang, you don't want nothing from this man. And you'll know who it is when you meet them. They're coming towards you. You'll know who it is. You will know who it is. This is someone you worked with. With, with us starting out with the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone you worked with. And you, you will have been very genuine for this person. Maybe even someone you may have looked out for. Very genuine, like I said, with this person. Very healing. Uh, you were very honest with this person. But there is something devilish about his character. May have, he may have told a lot of lies. I'm telling you. Someone lied about who you were. May have even tried to manipulate people on your mental and things like that. Like someone disrespected an earth angel. Basically. <laughs> Living in fear. Living in fear. All the lies he told, and he knows you know, but he's hoping that things can work out with the two of you, that you'll come together with him. You can come together with him, but it's not going to be something that is going to be successful in the long run. Yeah, he may even still try to trap you at the end. Go your own way is what I'm being told to tell you. Go your own way. If you end up meeting with this person, just tell them you forgive them. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's not going to be something that's worth your time. Someone is maybe even trapped in some type of alliance 
with a queen of wands. And she's someone that's unhinged out here. Been telling a lot of lies as well. Like when you meet with this man, maybe just tell him you forgive him. Because he. I'm telling you, the high priestess is, keeps coming out. Like you are a very skilled high priestess. You will be elevated. You will be seen. You will be respected. There are people or organizations behind the scenes that possibly want to work with you or they are going to want to work with you in the future. It's not this man. You don't have anything to gain from this man. Okay, look at you. Growth, acceleration, right? Improvement. You may even be traveling to connect with your new soul tribe. You, you, you're about to have everything. You may end up connecting with a wealthy man to have a new beginning. And this is something that's being cleared out, uh, supported by the universe. But it's not with this person you worked with before. This is someone from your past. With this eight of pentacles and the five of pentacles out here, this is someone you worked with in the past. So this could be like someone you did like a nine to five with and he was a business owner and you didn't know that. Or you, excuse me, you knew that, but you didn't know how, uh, how much, like how established he was. You just knew that someone had something going on or he may have said something to you, but he's someone from your past with the eight of pentacles being, uh, before this five of pentacles, he's someone from your past. You may have left an organization, left some type of institution, community or something that he was working at and he stayed behind, right? Or you left them behind. It's something like that. And this could be a woman again, as I said, but now he's going through some type of ending because you see he's going from the eight of pentacles to the five of pentacles. He's going through some type of death. He's losing money by the day. Someone is losing a lot. And right now he's frustrated with a queen of wands that he partnered up with, by the way, no one told him to partner up with this woman. He went with someone that had nothing to offer him. Nothing. Okay. So now that maybe he's leaving, she, she may be offering someone after they've partnered up together and he's been giving her money time and time again, she's paying another masculine to come into your life and give you some type of love offer so that the other man does not come in your life to partner up with you. I don't know what the heck this is, but it's a little bit too much for me.com. She says she don't want an emperor to connect with you. So she's paying someone else behind the scenes to come into your energy. She could be paying another king of swords to come towards you and give you an offer. And you're going to see right through these people. Right through them. Your ancestors said nothing but the emperor. Yeah, they're paying him to come in, give you an offer so he can sneak you and end you. Keep you trapped. You are a whole empress out here. This is what they're planning for you. And the person she's sending sees you as wish fulfillment, which is crazy because this is someone she's been sleeping with as well. Whoever she's sending towards you is someone she sleeps with, may even have a child by him. But they're sending him to come towards you, right? But it, you're going to reject this person because you you are going to see right through them. Like, I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what this is. There's a queen of wands in a man's life that just lies and lies and lies and lies. And lies. I'm telling you. She's paying someone to come in and give you an offer just to sneak you. Just to sneak you. And the king of pentacles as well don't have any good intentions for you. It's just that he knows you can turn things around for him. And that's why he's coming in to give you this offer, trying to find a, a good way to come into your energy. Be cautious of anyone that you make any business dealings with. Business partners, someone is not loyal. These ho ho hos ain't loyal. Man or woman, they ain't loyal. Be very cautious of the business partners dealings that you partake in uh, there, there's something you're doing on your own you don't need anyone right now if you have like a masculine or organization that wants to invest in you great but it should not be something that's contractual between you and someone where it's that they have any type of uh uh uh, 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 uh what is it what am i trying to say where they have any type of ownership in your business they shouldn't. 
they should not have any ownership in your business. Okay. That you are going to meet the right people. With six being on here, you're going to seal onto Karma Waters because this person from your past that you used to work with, he has been doing things behind the scenes to cause you endings. But the universe wants you to know that you will be moving on to, to Karma Waters and you will be forming new alliances with no pressure, no ulterior motive so that you can fulfill your destiny and live a fulfilling life. It's not with this person you worked with behind the scenes. Oh, okay so he's watching you from behind the scenes but it's not the person you work with in the past it's someone completely different because whoever this is he's just as toxic as this queen of wands that he went with just as toxic ain't no difference she's caused him loss after loss after loss after loss he's been losing money by the day He's been losing money by the day. He can't do it no more. Maybe he may have even left a position, left an organization, something like that. He said he's putting an end to it because it's come with nothing but disappointment. So he's moving on. Moving on. <clears throat> I can't. Yeah, it's on your own. The universe said on your own. Don't partner up with this person. You bring more to the table than they bring. There's something where in the past, and I think this is why, where people sometimes, they don't look farther into things. He had the money, you had the ideas. Because you're showing up as the, the star out here. And I keep seeing you, this page of cups won't leave. You're someone very youthful, very in touch with the universe. You're in touch with your inner child, so your creativity is on overload, Right? You're very good with speaking and things like that. And you're very strong, have a lot of tenacity and things like that. But you're someone that's supported by the universe. Very abundant. Whatever you wish for, they grant to you. Okay, your star shines bigger than the other stars in the sky. You are wish fulfillment. You're a good person. You, He had the money. You had, had the ideas. He has connections in the physical. You have connection in the spirit. So you two coming together, we have been two, two worlds coming together, the spiritual and the physical. Like you can see here, King of Pentacles, this has to do with the earthly materials. So he had earthly wealth. You have spiritual wealth because the star is wish fulfillment, spirituality, healer, and things like that. So it would have been the physical and the spirit coming together, right, to build some type of really stupendously successful reality. It wouldn't have just been in money, but like just overall, it would have been two different worlds coming together. And it would have been based on your ideas. You as a star being very creative, innovative, healing and things like that. But someone saw you in your pitch of cups energy and they rejected you immediately. It was a on sight. He said no. And he may have had people in his ears as well, especially this queen of wands here. We have had people in his ears to have him see you in some type of lighting that was not yours because she would have been intimidated by you. So she may have had people lying to him and told him lie on you and told him that you were very karmic, very uh, a, a, a Debbie Downer, then work as a team, something like that. So you all could have either worked together or in the same community, whatever this is. She played a huge role in why he's in this five of pentacles energy. Someone has gone from the eight of pentacles. The, the eight of pentacles is security. You don't got nothing to worry about. Like you're growing. So when he would have came to this organization, he would have been going through some type of growth sprout. That things were going in the right direction for him. He was hopeful in life. He was secure in life. And then he went and did something foolish and either partner up with this queen of wands, all this institution. And now his resources are being depleted. He went from the eight of pentacles to the five of pentacles to the death to the four of freaking cups. Like a brother is out here going through a hard knock life. She too is going through the same thing. May have received some type of offer from, yeah, she received a business position, 
some type of work offer from this man and she was misusing that money to cause blockages for someone else. So it's like the both of them partner up to take you down instead of investing in their business, which you probably don't even know these people or weren't paying attention to these people, but they got together, twiddle D and twiddle dumb to destroy your life. And now karma is taking place. The both of them have gone from the eight of pentacles to what the four of freaking cups. The four of cups out in the cold, maybe losing their nine to five business, not doing well. There is no business. He may not be able to fund her anymore, or he's just choosing not to fund her ridiculous business anymore because she's not business savvy. You see this, uh, Page of uh, uh, Pentacles out here. She's not manifesting nothing. What she's doing is paying someone else to come into your life and give you an offer. This woman does not have the ability to manifest. This page of Pentacles is here because she's paying someone to come into your life and woo you. And you're being protected because you're going to reject this person because you already know they ain't nothing but a facade. This is one of her lovers that she's sending towards you to give you a love offer just to end you. Throw with caution, people. Ain't no reason people should be this dedicated. Because, honey, ain't no money left. Maybe she don't know that. There's no money left. He don't got nothing to give you. You're trying to block someone else and there's no money left between the both of you. You spent it all trying to destroy someone's life. He said he was going to win by force. He said, I'm going to win by any means. I'm going to force this woman to work with me. Nothing she touched can thrive unless I have a hand in it. And the universe said, oh, really? Okay. Are you sure that's a worthy goal? Are you sure that's a worthy goal? Because he's created nothing but mountains for himself. You're about to go from being, you know, uh, underrated to being overbooked. Oh, you're about to be overbooked because you, honey, you are skilled, skilled. You are skilled, skilled. And now he wants to come and be a part of it. It's the hypocrisy for me. You got expectations, but honey, you're on the right track elsewhere. The universe said you can expect, uh, collective, you can expect to be abundant. You can expect to be successful. And he can expect to go through some type of healing. Okay? New world, I'm telling you. Okay? There are many more things for you to discover, so don't give up. More adventure. And this is what these people wanted to do. I wouldn't be surprised if these two got together and they've been stealing from you and trying to make it seem like they're the ones that have been manifesting something you've been doing. And it's all backfiring now, but the universe said to, to not give up. You see that? They're, they're giving you a whole new world. Like you are stepping into a whole new world. So they're wanting you to know that you are good. You have spiritual links into the universe, just like us into the spirit realm. Just like I said, he's connected on the physical and you are connected in the spirit. So you two coming together, we have been two different worlds coming together. So it's a, like, imagine like a celebrity walking around with their entourage and they know Bill Gates. They know Oprah Winfrey. They know a whole bunch of other uh, people, right? They can reach out to those characters or energies when they need assistance for something, right? And then you imagine yourself walking around and all of these uh, uh, sentient beings, they move with you, okay? You have spirits that move with you. When you move, they move. They say, where is boss going today? Where is she going today? We need to make sure we stay beside her, right? That's what it is. He has his physical entourage. You have your spiritual entourage, so you're always protected. And until someone does the work to eat at the, to actually heal and be genuine, to be genuine, they're not allowing your energy. Anyway, it says spirit link. Stay aligned with your highest dreams and ideas to find success. Divinely guided, I'm telling you. And someone is finding this out late. These are the types of people when they have material wealth, and they live a superficial lifestyle. When they meet people that are spiritual, they laugh at you. They laugh at you. And I wouldn't be surprised if he and a group of people were sitting back laughing while they were destroying your life. Destroying your businesses, your resources, your incomes, your connections. All of them were laughing. 
Now it's not funny anymore because all of them are going through endings, especially he and this queen of wands. It's not funny anymore. It don't got serious out here. That's why you got to use your senses. What, where in the world do you think that destroying someone else's life and their pathway is going to lead to some type of abundance for you? Where, 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 where? The universe is always going to balance it out. And this ending he's going through is judgment by the universe. They said you took everything from this person and tried to block them. So now we take everything from you. That's, the, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You lie on our child. So now we're going to expose you as a liar. This woman is crazy behind the scenes. She's crazy. But this is justice. This is judgment and it's final. Someone is being hunted. This queen of wands, every reading I do, I'm being told she's being hunted. But she's trying to pretend like it's not happening. Nah. There's a spirit that's following someone's ancestors are wreaking havoc in someone's life. But she's still more focused on you. Oh, they are wreaking havoc. Wreaking havoc on someone. And she's trying to walk around here like everything is okay. It's not. We'll see how long you pretend. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.